Hello, everyone. I was watching something, and a message came to my mind. Something like, many things we care about in this world means nothing. It's like we care so much about the things of this world, many things of this world. But in a sense, it means nothing. Some things we hold as very important, but in a sense, it means nothing. Many of us may care about money, and even if we lose money, you know, if we were to lose money and it is not our fault, pretty much the message that came to me, it means nothing. Like, it may mean a lot to you, and you may feel very bad if someone were to mismanage or take your money in a bad way, but overall, it means nothing. What really matters in this life is our record. Pretty much how we performed on this earth. You know, as I look around in my room, you know, I have some things that I have. In a sense, it means nothing. Everything I have, everything I own, I have to leave everything behind when I die. There are some pictures I took that means something to me, but I can't take those pictures with me when I die. I believe many of us focus on the wrong things in life. We may focus so much on popularity. We may focus so much on the things we have and trying to get more and more. Some things we may focus on may not be totally wrong, but what we really need to focus on is what we say and the way we behave in life. Because think about it. Like, I believe we all have to appear before God. Like, what will our life speak about us? Will our life tell us that we were very greedy? We were selfish, we were manipulative, hateful, spiteful, angry all the time, did not really want to share with people, looked for excuses to argue and make people's days bad. What will your life speak about you? Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 10. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Let's define some words. Fornicator, a person who has sex with someone who they are not married to. 
idolater, someone who worships and prays to an object or picture as part of a religion, adulterer, a married person who has sex with someone who is not their wife or husband, effeminate, an effeminate man behaves or looks similar to a woman. As I look in the expanded Bible with effeminate, it says here, those who are male prostitutes or passive homosexual partners. And then for nor abusers of themselves with mankind right here. In the expanded Bible, it says, or men who have sexual relations with other men or active homosexual partners. In verse 10, I believe many of us know what thieves are. So thieves are, it is not good to steal. Covetous, wanting to have something too much, especially something that belongs to someone else. Drunkard, a person who often drinks large amounts of alcohol. Revile, to criticize someone strongly or say unpleasant things to or about someone. Also, I believe for revilers, it says lie about others, slander others, use abusive language, extortioner, a person who obtains something by force or threats. But in the expanded Bible, it says for extortioner to rob, swindle. Nothing is worth missing heaven over, if that makes any sense. Like nothing in this world is worth having if you will miss out in heaven. Give your life to Jesus Christ now. I believe you still have time.